Hey, what's up everyone? Today's review video is going to be over Marie Callender's uh, 8 Chicken Pot Pies Tender White Meat Chicken. So, this is actually very, very delicious. I love it. Um, so, once again, from Costco, as expected, and I think the total for this came out to around 20 bucks um, for 8 Chicken Pot Pies. So about, I think a little bit, actually no, closer to, to 15 I think it was about $2 per pot pie. So let's open this up and see uh, see what we got here. We got a mighty big box, nice and heavy too. All right. and inside of this box we have 8 mini boxes. So these are all frozen. Um, I already opened a big box ahead of time. And uh, I ate a bunch of those already and I gotta say, I love it. It's really good. So here's the single mini box from the inside here. Um, keep frozen, microwavable, must be cooked thoroughly. And each one contains 600 calories, so about four of these a day. Um, I guess one for breakfast, one for lunch, two for dinner, or something like that, right? I don't eat the same thing every day. So I can mix this up with the other frozen foods that I have, depending on my mood. Um, here are the nutrition facts. Golden flaky crust made from scratch. Sauce also made from scratch. Mm, let's see, where's the cooking instructions? Here we go. Tear off top completely before microwaving. So you can actually microwave this or use a conventional oven. So today, I'm going to do both methods. Uh, I'm not going to microwave and then, you know, heat the same thing in an oven. I'm going to get two separate ones. Uh, one in the oven and one in the microwave. So I'm going to start with the oven here. It says open one carton, uh, open carton at push tab, peel back, cook only one at a time. Um, so open it up and uh, cover the the edges with uh, with foil here. Uh, and that's actually highly recommended. The first time I did this, I tried to skip the foil and the edges came out a little bit burnt. Um, it was a little bit darker than golden brown and there was a slight burnt taste. You know, not really noticeable, but I think it's best to follow the instructions this time. And I bake it for 50 minutes. Wow, that's a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in for 44 minutes. And then at the 44 minute mark, I'm going to microwave a second one for 6 minutes. Even though it says here high on 5 to 6 and a half minutes. And then at the end, we'll take both of them out and then we'll do a comparison and see if uh, any viewers can notice any differences here. So let's, let's toss this box out. So I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, you know what? Let's open one and, uh, and, and have a look at what they look like. Take a look at what they look like. So here it is. All right. It's nice and uh, crusty here. Frozen solid. Um, so I think there's instructions on here somewhere that says to poke a hole through the top and uh, it's very difficult. Right there. Uh, slit top crust before cooking. It's very difficult for me to do because it's frozen solid and I don't have a knife. I can try and take this fork here. Yeah. Actually, I'd be surprised that if that, that would work even with a knife. But that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in the freezer and then I'm going to wrap this uh, in some foil. Alright, so here it is. Uh, I'll admit it, my foil wrapping isn't the most beautiful in the world but it's good enough. Uh, the oven has been preheated to 400 degrees so the cook time is 50 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pop this one in uh, and at, four, at the 44 minute mark I'm also going to microwave another one for 6 minutes and then they should both be done at the same time. Alright, so let's pick this up then put it in here. Alright, I also put a piece of foil there because um, I didn't want this thing here at the bottom to burn uh, just to be safe, you know. Alright, see you all in 44 minutes. Alright, so about 44 minutes have passed. Uh, it's still cooking here at 400 degrees. As you can see there. Oh, it smells wonderful. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and grab a second box. Look at all my frozen foods. If you look very clearly, or very closely, you can predict the upcoming videos. Ah, it's gone now. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to open up the top. Oh, tear off completely before microwaving. Only issue is here, it's a slit the top crust before cooking. Um, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Uh, because it's so frozen, you know, it's so hard 
because it's frozen and uh, that might be an issue. I hope this doesn't explode and cause a big mess in my microwave. It hasn't happened so far, but I've only done it, I think twice um, when I first got this, just to test the two methods of, of cooking. But let's see, fingers crossed it doesn't explode. You get to see a little bit of my room here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the things in my room are enough to, to let you predict where I live, what I do, what type of student I am. If you can guess that, I'd be uh, pretty impressed. All right, throw that in there. Six minutes. When this is done, this will be done. I'll take them out. I'll let them rest for five to ten minutes. And then we'll do a, a taste test and we'll do a comparison as well. See you soon. All right, perfect. Here they are. Can you tell? which one was cooked in the oven and which one was cooked in the microwave what if I move them back and forth like this to adjust for the lighting can you tell now mmm well if you, th if you say this was from the microwave and this was from the oven you'd be wrong this one was from the microwave and this one was from the oven um, if you look here this one's darker and more brown than this one and for some odd reason here, the top is smoother, while this one is a little bit more, I don't know the word, crackled, raggedy, right? So this was from the oven, and this was from the microwave. Uh, they say the oven cooked way should be more flaky. So let's, let's take a look here. If I bend this up a little bit, oh my gosh, look at how flaky that is. Okay. Yeah, just... It's just coming off there, if you can see. Let's do it for this one. This is also very flaky as well. Hmm. So, difficult for me to tell at least. But, if I were to eat this piece, mm hmm. Yeah. It tastes like pie crust. If I were to eat this piece, mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's no difference at all that I can tell. So, can't really tell. Let's break this up and see what's inside here. Oh my gosh, look at all that gravy. Delicious. So inside each of these, you have chicken, you have peas, um, and where, there's, where, where there are peas, there, have to, there has to be carrots. I think. Oh, there we go. Try to hide from me. <laughs> Oh, that looks like a uh, celery, green onion, probably celery. Get off of there. Then if you were to break this one. Oh, this one was actually harder to break into. It's more congealed. Okay. So 50 minutes in the oven um, got the temperature to be way hotter than six minutes in a microwave. Actually, let me touch this with my finger. Burning also burning interesting so you can see a big difference in the gravy content here and here oh right that's because some gravy actually came out it's it sort of uh, the pressure built up and I guess a good amount of it mm, exploded out uh, so I guess that can explain the reason for the lower number amount of gravy in this one compared to this one but let's take a bite just get a bite with a little bit of everything here. Some crust on there. Okay, so I have a nice spoonful of a little bit of everything. Chicken, carrots, peas, celery, crust, gravy. Mmm. It's rich, savory, delicious, very good. And this is perfect for the cold weather outside too. Wow, very good. <clears throat> let's try a piece. Uh, let's try a bite from from this one, from the oven cooked one. To see if there's any difference. Again, I'm gonna put some crust in there so that I get a bit of everything, nice balance, you know.
Mm. Wow. Yeah. They're both very good. Um, there's, to be honest, I can't really tell a difference. I just taste flavor and deliciousness. Um, I guess if you're in a rush, go with the microwave. But if you have time and you want it to look more golden brown and nice, go with the oven. But yeah, this was really good. Um, thanks a lot for watching the video. Um, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.